We'll see if it works out for them on the rift as we're ready. Let the cleanse here from Guma. But the follow up from Lucid, and they're going to get these as well. But the sun comes in. Lucid and Moham super low, but there's nothing that T1 can do about it. Or barely about. Uh... Kaiser will come down, and Kingen is just dead. DK not able to turn this, and T1, they've got everybody in this one. As Baker comes over, a double kill for the Rumble. And now Zeus is off to the races. Uh, now, not so much. Zeus is going to go back. Yeah, and that can still be very useful with your Ziggs. You know, you throw that in. King in a lot of trouble here. He is not going to respect the lack of vision. And he just gets punched to death by the Rumble to do so as well. Here comes Owner. Not having the paranoia, but he's just going to flash on in as, oh, so low is Mohawk. But the lock in comes in. It doesn't matter. The Q will land the final blow. Lucid has ult, but I don't oh, know what it can do. Right. Uh, he's going to land the stun here on Azeus, who is in a lot of trouble, actually. That's a big shutdown that just got given over to Showmaker. So, like, despite the fact that his life has been very unfortunate, he can still do stuff like this. Yeah, he's just going to throw an ult in, and you can't get out of that one as Kingen. He does get very, very low, but he did his job, and there's not much that Carry can do up here on the top side. So a, a turret again, and this time he doesn't have flash. He's in a lot of trouble. The magical journey will not save him. That is another shutdown given over to DK. This time it's given to the Ziggs, who is casually 2-0 and 3. And with MF, if you have your BT, oh, possible collapse. Yeah, they're trying to turn, actually, on the Zeus. That's a ton of damage. He has to flash away, but now trying to get on top of Aiming, who is left all alone. He stacks over the wall. It's beautiful. But that is a Yone who can do even better than the Ziggs can. Kingen's on the way. Trying to turn here on a Faker. There's the Solar Flare. They should be able to trade this one back. Lucid tanking up a ton. He gets the root. He flashes away. He lives. It's a double kill for Showmaker. The flash away from Baker, who is now in a bit of trouble. Everybody going to get rooted down as there is no more Yoni. And a massive Ziggs bomb over the top is going to push T1 away. It's not a clean fight. Nothing in this game has been clean. As a lot of members here on the side of DK are also quite low, but they're going to stick onto the Baron, or rather the Dragon anyway. Owner has flash. It's might as well carry up. We'll see if they can able to contest this. Oh, they're trying to take the fight here, RDK. Oh, the satchel to deny the magical journey. He's not able to get away. Uh, Karia almost, no, he's just actually dead. Not almost, he is just dead. They, they got to start Nash. Eight and zero. Like, especially with the positions that they got right now, like. And the setup, as you mentioned, it's just the turn from the side of DK. They try to get in, but the arm guard is there for Showmaker. And this fight of Maxim all comes in from Baker. And he's just going to get super low, as will Owner. Owner barely getting away. But at the end of the day, T1, they stopped the Baron take. And the turn is, again, not very clean. Hang on. Looking for more, and he will actually take down Owner. Might be uh, no, just the dragon, or rather the damage is just way too much. And now here comes the combo. The turn comes in on Aguma. It's not very clean. They should just take the Baron as they finally do take it down. In goes Owner, but he's okay. Uh, now Showmaker doesn't have a flash. He's being burned down quite a bit here. They're looking to turn as there goes Baker into the back line, takes out Showmaker. And an angle here for Aguma, pretty good. Bowen, I'm probably going to go down, and that he does. And DK, they get away with only two Baron buffs. Fire's first match, it's just challengers. Uh, so they still have Baron, and they're flipping it, I guess. I mean, Baker trying to find the angle, and it's just going to come down to Guma Yusi again. It's going to take that objective, and they're TPing. They're trying to end the game. They say, enough with your Elder Dragon, but Zayn is going to it. And he might just be able to defend the base by himself. Down he will go. But T1, they still have Elder Dragon. Aiming's going to go down. Down will go King and eventually. His owner will take him out with the paranoia. And that might just do it as T1 and Gooba, they take the objective and they look to push mid. This is 42 minutes into this first messy game. Absolutely. This is exactly the way that game one had to end after. So if King and pushes out that wave and then get them right here in game two. As we're ready, let's hop into the ring. And just going to get the knockback. That's another satchel that brings him back in. The all-out comes in, and Zeus is just dead. And yes, they do have the Valkai, but the Nature's Grasp a little bit late. They will deny the turret from going down with the death of Zeus at Guma, least. But Cassante versus Sivir in the bottom lane. As now we get engaged here. Moham in a lot of trouble. He might just die. The TP is coming in. As down goes Moham, flash away from the root and the TP from Guma. 
on the flank into three. And then he's just so tanky. They're trying to take him down and they might be able to. They finally do. King and going a little bit too deep as owner will have to pay the price. But I think G1 should get out of this one ahead as finally owner will go down. And now Zeus getting kind of caught there by the satchel once again. Aiming so good with those. A double kill going over to Showmaker. Carry a slash. Oh, the flash is so good. And Indy goes once again. Goomba on the chase. And now Faker trying to punish him. Will take out Showmaker. Will not be able to take down Aiming. But at the end of the day, looks like just barely T1 take the win in the team fight. And they get the drain. Out thanks to the shield as well. Uh, yeah, we're not done. Faker's just. I guess he's just gonna go down. Yep, take it out. That is the uh, secured kill yep. going over to Kingen. Ooh, nice bramble smash there from owner. And now you've got the flying TP. The satchel gonna be used onto him, but it doesn't matter because Malam's already dead. Just gets caught by the Maokai. Down will go Daisy. Still alive, actually. The catch on a showmaker as he hops over the wall. First kill goes to Zeus. Kingen in a lot of trouble. And one more leap strike will do it. It's a double. And Showmaker, he can't carry all by his lonesome. Another shield comes in, but he will go down. It's a triple for Zeus plus the Baron for G1. For a 45-minute banger. Uh, banger used. Naming will eventually get the kill. Knocking down owner Carrier. Zeus can even threaten to just straight up murder him as by trying to get into this objective. But he's just getting shredded. Look at that damage from T1's cop. Down will go the tank. And in goes Karia again. Just to, well, die. The hook? Uh, there's the hook. Very nice for Mohab. That might just catch Baker here as he is all alone. The rest of the team just on the run. But the resets are coming in for Showmaker. The flash. He's got the flash. That's another kill. Another hop. Another one on the cards. He takes down Goomba. And now he's looking for Roder. I think it ends. Might just be the... Nope. They have a wave. Oh, getting a lot of focus here for BK. And that's going to be also the Alistair. But at the end of the day... Seconds. There's no way. Yeah, the TP comes in for Kingen. And they just clear out the wave, and their turret shredding is just so big. Down it'll go, and TK, they take it. Getting taken down. And in these type of fights... And D plus Kia, we got Maokai and Blitz once again. Trying to get more, as should be Moham to go down, and only Moham, and it's to carry. The power of that Maokai Blitz, I think, really is felt. Well, they're just going to try to do it on the Zeus. Flash forward isn't great, and Kingen is going very deep for this. Might actually have to pay the price, but Lockett not even able to save him, and Zeus takes a while to go down, but they do take him down at the end of the day. Now we're going to turn this one around. The Maokai ult in, it comes, and you cannot avoid it. Down goes Karia. You love to see the lack of counterplay. Meanwhile, Faker was just in the top. Yeah, really sending it in to try to kill Owner, and he just dies. I really don't know what the idea was there. Just kind of hoping that the rest of T1 would not be there. And well, okay, they're trying to go in this time onto the Sejuani again. Lucid in a lot of trouble, and he's getting so low. It takes him quite a while to take down a Faker's going to be traded. And now we get the root coming down. Everybody on the side of T1 just trying to run away. King and thinking about going in. As neither team really committed Showmaker. to anything. Showmaker goes over the wall, takes out Karia. The all out gets used on Azeus, who is pulled in, has to go into stasis. And Goomba, desperate to try to save his buddy, it's not going to work out. I don't think they're doing it. There it is. There's the one hook. That's all you needed. And you didn't even need the Maokai. Follow up here from T1. Pretty decent. Moham nearly gets punished. Zeus trying That's to get jungle, that kill, though. but it's not going to happen, and yeah. Still takes a lot of damage, though. Also, Kasane. Oh, Baker. Oh, man. That was a huge pick on a Showmaker. And now Aiming's going to go down as well. What a super play there to pick him off. And now T1, as uh, they're just going to try to get ahead of it and try to engage on a Lucid and King. And that's a ton of damage coming out. And the ult comes in for Baker to keep him around. And you see Lucid just desperately throw out his nature's grasp. Um, but could use it defensively. There it goes. Equalizer comes down. They get the combo in. Karia going to catch him as Baker coming in on the flank. Not going to hit the target, though. He's going to get extremely low this time around. But now King in all alone against the entirety of T1. And even the flash is not going to save him. Down he goes. And that was the fight right before Cloud Soul. And fun. Yeah, he got his ultimate off. But there's zero follow-up from DK. T1, they take another Baron down. And let's see where they can get done with this one. It's pretty huge equalizer, though. Hits three and is massive from Zeus. It's going to burn them to a crisp. He goes in to the back line and takes down Showmaker. 
as he will go down to his CA and eventually die. Double kill comes in for Zayus as the Rumble should not be let through in the next game as we have the Freeze coming in. And Lucid is just on the run, knowing that it is very different compared to last time. As T1 going to take down the Nexus here. Another 45 minutes. These are the moments where you ask yourself, what did we learn? And I don't know. Wow. Owner really trying to set this up. He is going to eat a bit of the damage. The saving is getting low. The smite also coming in. And they're going to get the TP out of Showmaker. But Owner might not be long for this one. As down he goes, Showmaker with the drive-by once again. Um, if he just autoed again and satcheled, it wouldn't have uh, mattered. But down will go Moham here in the bottom lane. From ahead. There's no turret, Showmaker. Mom's there. And if they could stack some drakes. Ooh, you see Show with the hook as bit of Ziggs damage over the top. Now we're trying to get a fight on in, but Lucid going very close to the sun. The knockup comes in and the MF ult gets it done. You see that owner's trying to set this one up, has the potential to sleep too. Now the Baker's gonna be taken out first. And now the front line of only Gwen. Not gonna be able to do too much. He is trying to trade here on the King in, but there are four members of DK who eventually do punish us. Now the turn comes in from T1. They catch out Lucid, who just goes in alone, but now it's just the Bane as Mohawk gets three on the engage. Coming from as now in goes the Gwen and the MF damage as finally he will be taken down. Guma just gonna get that last shot. The rest of DK. By the side of Carrier, he's in a lot of trouble. Guma just flashes in onto him. And now it's all up to aiming to get the damage done. As Lucid will be able to front line. And you're not. And now they're looking to find Carrier, who is going to get flashed on. Doesn't have the flash of his own. Throws an ult into Showmaker, but the reset's already there. The hook comes in, and he's dead. Guma, he's, uh, well, he's over here by himself. Couldn't get away. And he should be going down here shortly as King and pulls him out of the bomb. But more importantly, the Infernal Soul. And the Lucid doesn't really do much at all. He's trying to frontline here, but eventually Carrier does go down. And the wave, the one cannon. Look at him! The one cannon! He's shooting! Oh, but he can't quite get close enough and eventually just get cleared out. Zayus here on the run. And now it's a big Gwen throwing in the bar. Eyes, and that's going to be the kill. The shutdown on Zig. He's gotten so low. He is going 1v2. Meanwhile, down the goes on him. And look at the damage that is being done to the guys on T1. Faker, Gooba, Karia on the run. Karia goes in. But they're still here. They don't quite have the damage. And he's not a frontline anymore. Faker goes down. It's only Gooba. The GA is buying some time, and the timing is there. Aiming gets it down, and it's looking good for a game number five. Good, but then if it's not entertaining, <laughs> Valdez. Exactly. It's a lot of fun. Carry out alone, of course. Not able to stop it, and we will have already getting a bit crazy. Very good chance on Saturday. Who's going to do it? Let's find out in game or rather, Zayus trying to drag in Moham, but now it's Karia up against the wall against two, just one v 2 ing but down will go Zayus, as the die finally does come to fruition here, and Karia as well. Trying to come on in, Moham though in a bit of trouble, has to flash away from a lot of CC, but he away, and there it is, the re-engage on Akuma, who will go it down, works. and finally, they will get the kill, Moham will have to pay for it, but look at Zayus, he's so low. And a shield, but not gonna happen. Double kill for the Gold King aiming. And the sleep. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. In goes Zeus. Okay. In the face of four of them. And he's just going to die. And that is Zeus Moham. Oh, no. He's in the front. And down he'll go. But the sleep is coming in. Not as Zeus who flashes forward and goes all out. But down he will go himself. And really, uh... he's trying to get back in there. The MF ult doesn't do much. Oh, it's going to keep him around with the Nar. And they get the kill up to Owner. The flush! And they're going for more. They have so much chase potential to burn. Is it enough? Kuma, I no, know. No, no, no. go. And looking for a bit more. Carrier just wants to sacrifice himself, and he might be able to, but that is Showmaker. No, no, no. And that'll Are they going to get Nash? I think they can. It's only Faker. DK are going to be here. <laughs> and uh, over the top comes Showmaker through the gate, and he's trying to just take he's that Kuma. He does it, and he's dead. But they got the Drake. The poppy's good for one for keeping him out, but the MF ult is fantastic. Zeus, though, trying to find the angle, gets the knock on a aiming, but the damage is coming in. Carrier goes down, and Zeus has the no sleep. help. The sleep comes in, Faker and his buddy owner are up against the wall, against the king in, and they will not stand. DK, they win the fight. He knows it's over. D plus.
plus Kia. They are going to world. Did not die the entire game, by the way. He was six and six.